Hey, what's going on, y'all? Um, just going to do a video, quick video, and this topic is going to be about judging, um, judging a matter before knowing what's going on. And uh, it's just going to read one quick little proverb. Uh, <laughs> I really been meditating on for the past uh, few days um, because it's we see so much in the media, um, even within ourselves. Like one thing I'll say is like it's not just for y'all. It's definitely, you know, this word is for me for sure. You know, sometimes you can read scripture. I ain't gonna say sometimes. Most of the times you read scripture, <laughs> and you know you see yourself. You know what I mean. So uh, I would like to share it with you. So it says um in Proverbs chapter eighteen, verse thirteen. If one gives an answer before he hears, it is his folly and shame. So, I know we've had those moments where we're judging something or someone before we even know what's going on. Before we even know, hey, this is what it is. You know, and um, God's word is saying, before you give an answer... Know what's going on because you can be judging something or assuming something about someone or about something that may not even be, you know, um, because someone stops talking to you. You know, you can assume that, hey, they don't care about me. They don't like me, this, that, and the third no more. And really what it could be is. <laughs> they just getting their life together. You know, they getting the healing that they need. You know, they spending time with the Lord. You know, whatever it is. You know, but one thing this scripture is teaching me is maturity. You know, in the sense of being understanding of other people's life. Or of things, you know, um, and also is teaching me also to be a better listener. Um, so one thing with me, I do a lot of uh, studying. I've been doing a lot of studying um, to get doctrinal clarity on things. I'm wrestling with a lot of uh, my beliefs. And uh, one thing I learned about the body of Christ is none of us are the same. Uh, God gave us minds, um, you know, to think. And uh, a lot of us, you know, we believe the essentials about the faith. Um, it's just when it comes to secondary issues, you know what I mean? We may think differently, you know. But one thing I'm learning, even with doing this, is being able to listen to them instead of being like, oh, they're not saved or, oh, they don't love the Lord like I do, you know, stuff like that. It's like, nah, hear, hear their heart. And one thing I've learned, I ain't going to say I've learned it like I just reached the top. But one thing I'm learning for sure is that, <clears throat> you know, we hear where they're coming from. Like, may, I may not agree with you, but I, I can see how you got to that conclusion. I can see why you do this. I can hear your heart, where it stems from. Instead of just be like, oh, no, you know, they did this, that, and the third, or they're doing this. It's like, nah, I'm hearing them out. I see where they got this from. Even when, you know, evangelizing and, and, and witnessing, you know, uh, one thing I learned listening to uh, the skeptic, the unbeliever, hearing them out. Now, some, you know, some people have... Uh, bad motives but um and you can tell the bad motives by also listening and hearing them out but uh one thing i realized is that um the skeptic the unbeliever they're more receptive when um you're listening to them they're hearing you out and sometimes <laughs> that seed is planted you know 
Sometimes that seed gets planted when you listen to them instead of assuming that, oh, they hate the Lord, this, that, and the third, or they hate the church because of this. And when you really realize they might be dealing with church hurt, molestation, you know, a lot of things may have happened. Um, so we get to the root with the conversation. So um, I just want to encourage us, you know, like I said, it's, it's always for me first before I give it out um, to listen to a situation, whether it be on TV, the media, you know what I mean? Um, whatever it is, listen to the, uh, listen to the, the thing that's going on. Listen to what what's being spoken. Listen to what's, you know, the whole plot instead of just being like, okay, I already made my accusation. Cause it shows that you don't care, you know? And, um, one thing, I, I'm learning too is that you know people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care <laughs> I just said that cliche who cares it's true <laughs> but uh but yeah um so just want to leave you with that word um I'm gonna be for now on um because the word has really been ministering to me in this season uh I don't know if y'all can tell. I got the dreads now. <laughs> I just been going in. So <laughs> to where the dreads is out they just start twisting by themselves. But um but yeah, you know, I just really been going in and learning, um, being refined, you know, um, falling in love with God, uh falling in love with what Jesus um did for us, who he is, the Holy Spirit, um his teaching him him ministering to my spirit you know and it's just uh it's been a really really been a blessing so um for now on what i'm gonna do I, it's been a lot of stuff ministering so if i take a little while you know i just want this word to really really hit me first you know before i deliver it so that's how it's gonna be um from now on so you know y'all be blessed and um like i said you know just have a ears to listen you know and uh ask for wisdom in all this too you know it comes from the book of proverbs so uh just remember that you know just listen to a matter before you give what you think already on it it's like listen to it seek it out you know what i mean so i holla at y'all